So I decided to start a decluttering series because we are in the process of moving and therefore I thought I would start with my nail polish collection. I am obsessed with nail polish as you can see and this is not even all of it. I actually <laughs> forgot to film this and um, already packaged some of the nail polishes but I'm going to go through with you guys and try to get rid of at least a couple of my nail polishes because I really do love each and every one very much. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free. So please click that subscribe button and go ahead and click that notification bell. Uh, I do love all of my reds because red is my favorite color to wear on my nails so this one is butter london and if you guys are curious about any of the names of any of them let me know i'll try to show you as many as possible but no promises here because i'm trying to trying to go fast but this one is such a beautiful red it's perfect for christmas or valentine's day this one I actually won in a giveaway. Oh, I don't know what happened there. The ones by Hard Candy are so pretty though. This one is perfect for summer. Love it. This one's another one from Hard Candy. And some of them may look <laughs> a little dry, but I do have nail polish thinner. So unless it's like completely gone, I don't want to throw it away. I guess I am a, kind of a hoarder when it comes to nail polishes. <laughs> So let's see. Okay, this one is actually very, very pretty, but I don't know. For some reason, I feel like it doesn't look good on my skin tone, so I'm going to put that aside. There's this one. It's really pretty. I try to keep as many unique colors as I can. This one's from Color Club. Again, I, I rarely ever wear this, but I love duochrome, so I don't know. I think I'm going to put that aside as well and i absolutely love hollow i loved hollow before it was even well at least before i knew it was called ha hollow <laughs> this one's probably my favorite though and it's the most affordable super super pretty this one again rarely ever wear i think i got it for free with like a nail bundle or something i'm going to put that aside as well this one is really pretty this one's also very pretty. This one I love. I used to wear this almost every birthday. I can barely read this, but I think it says sparkled. It's by Wet n Wild. Very, very affordable. This one's also very pretty. It looks very similar to the other pink one from Hard Candy, but it is lighter. This one's another one. I have other gold nail polishes that I like better. This one's actually good, but I can get rid of that one. This one just needs to be shaken up a little bit, but hardly ever wear this. I love this shade by Orly. It's called Rage. This one, hardly ever wear. These two shades are pretty much the same. So I need to figure out which one to keep. This one, by the way, is called Stay Classy by Wet n Wild. And this one is called Pink Beige. This one, my sister actually got it for me, but, well, she actually got it for herself, but I think she saw that I liked it and then gave it to me, which is so sweet of her. This one is called I Got a Confection. This one is brand new. So yeah, I think I'm going to give that back to her because I hardly ever wear this. This one also, I, f I feel like I'm going to put that there, but oh wow, these are really pretty. These two are probably two of my absolute favorite nail polishes of all time. This one is called Das Expensive by Kale Polish, and this one is ILN, ILNP, um, Juliet. Oh my gosh. Um, I actually have Das Expensive on my hands right now. Again, this shade is actually very similar to these three. So I need to figure that out. This one I hardly ever wear, but I always get compliments when I wear it. So I'm gonna give that another try. Then I have these purples. This one is from Trust Fun Beauty. 
I need to make sure because I I, I want to keep as many of the like more clean nail polishes, you know, like the five free, seven free nail polishes. So if it is, then I'll keep it. But if not, I'm going to get rid of it. More pretty nail polishes. I love purple nail polish, but I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't look that good on me. But I do love buying purple nail polish. This one, it's really pretty for winter, but I hardly ever wear it. I'm going to get rid of that. And my favorite nail polish color to buy is blue, but I hardly ever wear blue. So I just don't understand uh, why I have so many blue nail polishes, but they're all pretty similar. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. And again, very similar. I'm going to get rid of this one. Again, these are like Cookie Monster blues, but I think I'm going to keep the hollow and get rid of these. And this Pure Ice nail polish I've had, I, I don't even know how long now, like 10 years? Um, okay, this shade, Pistache, is the most beautiful spring shade, so I'm definitely keeping that. But these, I never wear, so. And this green nail polish, the brush is broken, so. I'm gonna have to get rid of that. More greens, I love wearing green. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this one because I think I think it's this brush that's ruined, so. But either way, I didn't really like these nail polishes. They take forever to dry, so. This green right here by Pure Ice, my favorite ever green shade. Lucky Charming. This teal shade, I actually don't have another teal shade, so I'm gonna keep that one. Oh, well, I guess I do have another teal shade. And this forest green is so beautiful. All right, grays. <laughs> Grays I hardly ever wear unless I'm doing like nail art or something like that. So I'm gonna get rid of these. Let's see how much more I have left. We've we've gotten through most of it. Now, um, let's see. These are like pretty brand new, these hollows. So I'm gonna keep those. This one is a very pretty duo chrome. It's called Icebreaker by Color Club. This one is also very, very pretty, but I actually think I like this one better, so I'm gonna get rid of this. This one is a hollow charcoal gray, I guess. So I hardly ever wear this, so I'm gonna get rid of this too. This one is a stamping polish black, so I'm gonna keep that. It's the only one I have. Um, these. I really love this nude shade, but this gray shade, I don't ever wear, so I'm gonna just get rid of this one. This nude color by LA Colors, it's in the shade Swiss Coffee. It is the most perfect nude shade for me, and it is super affordable. So if you're a similar skin tone to me, then I would definitely check this out. It doesn't have the best um, formula, but the color it is just flawless. All right. Now down to this one. This one is a new nail polish that I just bought recently hauled. Well, not recently, but a couple months ago. This one, very pretty and I want to go very mermaid on my nails. <laughs> this one is like pretty much like Christmas in a bottle, but I rarely ever wear this. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Another stamping polish, which I'm going to keep. This one. It's actually very pretty. I use it a lot on my accent nails and I have the gold version of it as well. So I'm gonna keep those two. This one's very pretty combined with this one. This one has a horrible uh, formula, <laughs> but um, with enough nail polish thinner, um, it, I can make it work. So I just really, really love the color of this. It's very pale, silvery blue, so yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. And this one is like a nice light shimmer. This one is empty, and I don't know why I'm keeping this, so I'm gonna throw this away. This one is also pretty much empty. This one actually is like solidified, so I'm gonna get rid of this too. And let's see, Sachet Vite, my favorite top coat. This one's empty. I have no idea why I keep these empty ones. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, this one's not empty, but 
more affordable than Sachet uh, Vite, but it's not as good. This one, again, old. Gonna get rid of that. Um, this one, there's just a little bit left. I think I have enough for one more use and then I can get rid of it. This one is a matte top coat, a base coat. Um, this one is over. I need to get rid of that. I have, I already have backups, so. This one is a peel off base coat. Let's go down here. Um, I have no idea how old this is and I don't think it was originally this color, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And this one right here is like the little latex thing for, uh, to put around your fingers to protect your like the skin when you do nail art and stuff, but this one is completely dried out. As you can see, it's a totally different color. So I'm gonna get rid of that. These are brand new. And these are my nail oils and these are just fast dry drops from Essence, really nice. Um, so that is it for my nail polish rack. And by the way, if you're curious about this nail polish rack, my husband actually built it for me. So, um, but if I find a similar one, I will list it down below but other than that I think we did pretty good I'm getting rid of all of these let me let me put them all in a pile so that you can see how much I'm getting rid of so these are all the ones that I am keeping and these are all the ones that I'm getting rid of which is actually a lot more than I expected to anyways that is it for this declutter of my nail polishes and I will be sure to include couple more declutters we'll see how filming goes during the whole moving process it's very very stressful so um we'll see but uh if you don't see many videos up on my channel or anything just know that it's because i'm moving i love uploading videos so i mean it has to be a good reason for me not to upload but anyways okay Alrighty guys, so that is it for this decluttering. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!